what is up guys bounce here today i'm making a fire drill beat in this video this beat is going to be different because i want to actually make a melody and then i want to chop it up into samples maybe do some reversing stuff and then put my drums on top of it i think that'd be a really cool idea um, but we're gonna have to see let's get into it Woo! And then I'm gonna try to make chords on this. See if I can do something cool. Or what if I move this up, up, up an octave? I like it on strings way, way, way better. <laughs> Major chord. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to put the halftime on the melody bus, and then I'm going to try to make a fast melody with the halftime on the piano. So what it basically means is that if I play two notes close together on the piano, they're gonna be further apart because of the halftime. And then I'll loop that over and over. pretty cool so, so on this drip plugin i used the caliber preset and the dry wet knob is pretty high on the um delay so what ends up happening is that it sounds like this now i'm gonna see if i can use an organ in here because i think an organ would be really awesome So I'm going to try to go like, like something. So all these notes are in the scale. What if I use the arpeggiate feature in Cakewalk? Um, that's, that's right, but it's kind of boring. Notes. Paul Supermassive. Listen to that sound. I've never done something like that. That's like a whole video game kind of thing. So now I'm gonna... Okay. Ooh, there we go. That's cool. Some of the more softer hi hat. And then also use um, humanize feature on my hi-hats. I'm gonna turn on the glide of this sample, like to this or so, and then I can go like this. 
That's cool. Oh, like this. everything down by like four semitones and then the bass up by an octave. Oh yeah. Da -da -da. Let's do something like that. It's got a kick in. get some like hi-hats and I'm just do some like really like, crazy rolls every once in a while not very often but every once in a while it's so, like right here Let me go um, copy and then I'm gonna add glitch two onto there So if you hear it in the total, the context sounds like this. I'm putting a glitch too on my melody, and I think it's gonna be really cool if I had this little glitching like gator effect on the end of my melody. Yeah, sound, you can't really tell, but. We need like an intro section, so. So now I have these perks that come in. And that's and that's a good way to kind of like introduce you to everything. But I don't want them to just like land in. I want them to kind of like fade in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my high at MIDI. As you can see by the MIDI. Um, they're all pretty loud notes. So what I want to do instead is I want to hit this little transforms tool thing here And it does is give you a rectangle. So now cover you, your all of your mini velocities with the rectangle and then take it from the left side and drag down And then turn your thing off as you can see now what it did was it kind of like faded things in now This is different than if I just took my pencil tool and I went like this as you can see all of them are equally like in line But if we do it with the way I showed you with the transform tool it brings them all like relatively down. This melody is honestly like a really, really awesome. I love that I did that organ. That organ sounds so amazing when you sample it. So much more character to the melody. And I especially like these hi hats with all these low notes. Because with all the low notes, you have the more opportunities to have a little bit more rhythm. The whole drum sound crazy. Super crazy. Super crazy. See, I think I have so much for watching. This video was really, really crazy. I loved working on this one. Um, so, so clean. So, so easy. And I really want to be sampling more stuff in the future. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. Next week, Thursday. Woo!
good outro, boy boys. <laughs>